I don't know if you can even hear me because this place is crazy. They're all just shaking me in your face. Alright, it is my last day in Oaxaca City and right now I am on my way to meet somebody that I have followed for quite a while now. His name is Brent Tim. He has the best food account on TikTok, Instagram, all of social media basically. He basically travels the world, eats so much food everywhere he goes and documents it. So yeah, I haven't eaten anything today. It's like midday, I'm starving. Let's go meet Brent and eat. Man's putting on a show for us. Adam's taking his first sip. 50 years. 50 years. Yeah, 50 working. years. I'm working hard, man. I'm working hard. hard. Working very hard, very hard, man. Como te llamas? Gary. Gary? Gary. Gary. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. <laughs> okay, we are at Sanchez Pasquat's market. Uh, just after killing some juice. And right now we're about to sit down to have some tamales. So let's give these a shot. Okay, I went for the free hole and you yeah, went for? I got the mole, the black mole. Okay, I'm gonna try some of uh, Brent's mole. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, is that nice? It's like sweet. For real, it's like a dessert. Yeah, that is, that is quite good. All right, on the hunt now for some more food. Right now we're heading to the 20th of November market, yeah? That's right, 20th of November market. And baby. we're gonna go get some smoked meats. Yes. And we're gonna go to a place called Smoked or Grilled Meat Alley. Never seen anything like this in your life, man. Really looking forward to this. Um, Brent, why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? Yeah, what yeah, you do. what's up everybody? So my name is Brent Tim. I've been a full-time travel content creator. Uh, for about three years now. Uh, I'm originally from Minnesota in the United States, uh, but spend the better part of the past three years going all through Latin America. Uh, this is essentially my last trip before I head to Pakistan in just a couple of weeks right now. Uh, but super stoked to be here with the man, the myth, the legend, Adam. I can't wait to uh, share a few more meals with you, my brother. Yeah, sweet, should be good. All right, let's. Uh, oh, here we are. Yeah, awesome. let's jump in here. Quite a strange system here. You uh, you get your basket. Yeah, then you go get all your meat, and uh, everyone just wants you to sit down. But well, apparently, you go get your meat first. Then you get like your vegetables and their tortillas and stuff like that. It's. I don't know if you can even hear me. This place is crazy. They're all just shaking menus in your face. I'm not 100% sure actually how this works, so I'm gonna let Brent take the reins on this one. So I think you order two. You get it for like two people to eat. That's what I'm guessing. It's absolutely crazy here. The smoke as well is ridiculous. But it looks and smells so good. Man, it's absolutely crazy in here. Everyone just like shoving menus at you. Pure chaos, man. Wait, so what's the verdict? So, um, from what I understand, the two meats we want to try are the tasajo, which is like flank steak uh, that's been like thinly pounded. Okay. And then I think maybe the uh, chorizo and the cecina. I think Cecina is like pork. Cecina. That's bad. Co Cochina? Hold on. Nice. Uh, un momento. Okay, well, I'm just gonna follow your lead if that's okay. Perfect, man. Perfect. Yeah, crazy. And there's just so much smoke. I'm gonna smell like beef on this uh, bus ride tomorrow. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's so funny, man. So, like, right here, Cecina. You look it up online, and Cecina says it could be either beef or pork. So I always make the mistake of like, oh yeah, it's beef, and then someone will tell me that it's actually pork. So a lot of things get lost in translation here. I saw a stall over there that looks like it had some like the most fresh, delicious meat. So let's go over there and pick a few, eh? Sweet, right, let's do that. All right, tortillas secured. 
How much are the tortillas, brother? Uh, eight for 20 pesos. Oh, that's a mega deal. So what's that, one? That's a dollar. dollar? Yeah. yeah. A dollar. And I think it's pretty much, yeah, like a euro, a euro 10 yesterday, or something like that. Yeah, yesterday they literally charged me like two dollars for like five tortillas. So you got the Irish discount, man. They were not hooking me up with that. All right, man. What kind of beef should we try first, bro? What kind of meat? What kind of meat? That, what is it called? Cecina? Cecina? Cecina, yeah. Let's Cicina. try the Cecina. Beef jerky, almost. Yeah, because the Cecina and the Tazaha very like, extremely like fresh flavor. Like, why, why Jackie Chan fight scenes? Why Jackie Chan? Breaks down. Gracias, para mi amigo aquí. And this is like chocolate, yeah? It's chocolate and corn. It's hot chocolate and corn. Ayuda! Get the ayuda! Oh my God. It ayuda! It's incredible! Wow! I think this is gonna be the most food I've eaten in one day out here. Dude, we're about oh, to. Uh, oh, thanks to this buy man here. Shorts after this. <laughs> yeah. wow. I didn't know I was gonna run into you guys. I would. Yeah. What are they eating breakfast? Yeah. So. We'll get breakfast, no time. Alright, I'm looking forward to this now. Yeah, it's. Interesting. I like. I really enjoyed it. Oh, it is good. It's because it's it's chocolatey, but it's like toasty in okay. a way. Brett is getting the lowdown yeah. on the history of this place. Entonces es todo un un negocio de familia. Qué bien. His Spanish is far superior to mine. But bueno, great los frijoles de de las gemelas se hacen. Okay, chocolatey. Yeah, it's like chocolate, and then you get a bit of corn in it, and serve with like sweet bread. Pretty good. Like corn tortilla spread with uh, lard. With lard. Then you have your frijol, your which is like the paste. bean paste. And zucchini flour? Zucchini flour, yeah. And avocado. Avocado and, and tomato. The cheese is like, like that typical. Like that typical stringy quesillo. Nearly like a, like a cheese string. Do you have them? Yeah, like yeah. A cheese it's like string. a string cheese. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Also some yeah. Oh, and uh, lettuce. Lots of lettuce. Oh, yeah, lettuce. Zucchini flour is up. really good. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've never had that before. Yeah, right. It's got a wild flavor to it. Slide that back down. Mm -hmm. Another market down and right across the road to the next one. It's starting to reach uh, maximum capacity for food. Hola, gracias. Here we go, the bug taste test. Now you don't like me. Chili wood, oh, chili wood. Yeah, 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 I'll take one of those guys. Okay, bottoms up. Chilies, go for it. Wow. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah. Eso son mejores. Earthy, spicy, it's got that tang from the lime and the salt still. Chili de arbol. Chili de arbol. Uh, cool. <laughs> a bit of a kick, yeah? Wow, it's got a kick to it. Mm. You get such different smells. You go from like the raw meat butcher station into like all these herbs and spices. It's so nice. Groceries, produce, uh, just random. This market is wild. You literally have like stuff for your house, <coughs> food. Pets. Okay. Little rabbits. Is breaking, stomach Dogs, goldfish, rabbits. Anything about it? Turtles. Now for some tahate. Uh, okay, let me translate. So, um, Alma was saying that this is a pre-Hispanic drink. Oh, I can take my mask off here. Uh, this is a pre-Hispanic drink that goes back to the Aztec times. It was often given as an offering to, you know, uh, ask the gods for a good harvest or good weather. Uh, it's made with a bunch of different seeds, uh, corn, cacao, um, the mame pit, and a flower called R Rosita de Cacao. Rosita de cacao, Ooh, which okay. is a type of flour. It's all toasted and then ground by hand on a metate, which is the stone, um, the stone thing. Yeah, that like they grind the cacao there, on. So yeah, yeah. Ground and then. Uh, and so the Zapotecs, which are the uh, uh, native uh, peoples of the Oaxaca region, uh, only the sort of the, the kings and the, the people at the, the uppermost echelons in society were allowed to drink tejate. 
And is it warm or...? It's just room temperature, I presume, is it? It's, it's for you. See? It's cold. Okay, you see cold. the ice cubes. Oh, oh there's yeah, ice yeah. in it. Okay, perfect. Y luego se, se hace polvo y luego lo van... Because it is absolutely roasting out. And it's ah. roasting in this market as well. It's so warm. Super excited to try this. Okay, I'm going to give this a shot now. Tecate? Tecate? Uh, yeah? Tejate. 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 Okay, let's give it a go. Yeah, it looks like... It looks like it's curdled. Yeah, yeah, it, like. it does. Not, not but the most appealing aesthetically. Let's give it a go. Appealing food here. Adam's first sip of tahate. He's got the tahate mustache yeah, going. It's like real, like bitty, like you said, like very earthy. Yeah, very earthy. Just like it, it tastes like it's come like straight out of the ground. Straight up. That's straight exactly up. how it is. And we don't say this disparagingly, but it kind of tastes like dirt. Like, right? A little bit, like you get that like grainy, like yeah, as if you like hadn't mixed up your protein shake enough. Yeah, and you had yeah. to go for like round two. The blender broke, and all you could use was a spoon yeah. to mix it together. But, but uh, it's an experience, yeah, definitely. As Brett is taking oh, his. Oh yeah, sip. you see, I love that. It's yeah. like it's got a little. It's got that non-sweet chocolate flavor. Yeah, it's you like know? Uh, pure, like pure cacao. Mm -hmm. Like it's, you can just taste it like straight out of the. Like YouTube, straight out of the ground. And yeah, it is very earthy. Yeah. But then when you actually when you get that fat, you like when you have a little bit of the fat, it, it tastes a little fatty. It tastes okay, like it yeah. tastes like um like when you get some of that curdle from the top, it gives it a like a richness. Yeah. Last stop on our little food tour. Pull up to this little like aguas frescas spot. Uh, I don't know if you can hear Brent, but uh, we're going to try Chata. He has way better explanations than me on all of this stuff. I don't know, I'm just following his lead. But this place is absolutely hopping, so let's see what we can drink. Okay, this is my... Remind me of the name again, because I am terrible with this. Orchata de Tuna. Orchata de Tuna. <laughs> yeah, like super sweet. Taste like the, you can taste the walnuts in it. That's so good. Like proper, what's the, what are the little balls in the bottom? I think that might be the prickly pear. Prickle pear, okay. But I don't know. Super good. All right, that wraps up this video. Uh, huge shout out to the two men here, uh, Brent, for letting me come along and join him on his food tour, and uh, Brett, Brett for uh, doing a lot of translation, letting us know a little bit more about the foods that we we're eating. So, if you want art content, hit up this man. I'll leave all the information in the description below. And for a worldwide food tour and food knowledge this is your man here appreciate and it brother yeah i'll leave them in the description below and i will catch you guys in mexico city